uh, Joseph of Arimathea came, a prominent member of the council, who himself was waiting for the kingdom of God. And he gathered up courage and went in before Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Right, so he's waiting for the kingdom. They're all waiting for the, uh, we, we talk about in Luke, uh, let's see, 2, uh, is it Simeon? Mm -hmm. is waiting for the same thing right mm -hmm. uh let's see it says at that time this look to 25 and there was a man in jerusalem <coughs> whose name was simeon and this man was righteous and devout looking for the consolation of israel and the holy spirit was upon him right so he's waiting for eagerly waiting says this translation for the messiah mm -hmm. to come and console or rescue israel so there, there, you know, that's that's the Jewish mindset, and it should be to this day uh, that they're waiting for the consolation for the kingdom, and obviously for the Messiah to bring it, because he'll be the only one to bring it. It's not going to be the U.S. It's not going to be Britain. It's not going to be present-day Israel. It's only possible, says Isaiah nine seven, because God will do it. Oh, it's not the United Nations. You know, I'm always struck when I when I uh, read Isaiah 9, 6 because there's a big statue um, uh, in front of the United Nations. This mammoth, beautiful statue, if you're into art. I think it's incredible. Look at that. So that's the Isaiah uh, mm -hmm. vision, right? So he's beating his sword into a flash. Right, he's beating his sword sorry, into a plow chair, chair and look what's inscribed <laughs> underneath it. We shall beat our swords into plowshares. Did so, they even give the reference? Uh, they might not even. Wow. No? interesting there you go so that's in front of the un my point is that it's not going to come through the un the united nations you know as powerful as we believe ourselves to be it's not god will bring it through the messiah his appointed man god's man he'll bring it